Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. Something a bit different for you today. I kind of always say that, don't I? And it very rarely is. It usually revolves around aeroplanes or conventional trains, but I'd like to welcome you to Gromont Station on the North York Moors Railway, a heritage railway, and I'll tell you a bit more about it as we go. But today, not just traveling on the steam train, but actually just behind me there is the Moorlander Pullman service. It's a two and a half hour ride and includes a five course lunch and yours truly is having a go on it. So let's go see what it's all about. And so after a few delightful days staying in the wonderful North Yorkshire small market village of Helmsley at the Black Swan Hotel, which is excellent, it was time to pack up and take the short 30 minute drive down the road to Gromont, where we join today's train. Grobont Station isn't just all about NYMR, and this is what makes it really easy to get to, because it also shares with the British Rail Service between Whitby and Middlesbrough. Grobont has been really well preserved. Following closure in 1965, under the notorious Dr Beeching, it reopened in 1973 by the then NYMR Trust. I'm keen to know more, so climbing these stairs, we get our first view of today's train. Each of these carriages is uniquely different, and that's important, so we'll cover that later. Today's steam locomotive doing the hard work is 92134. Built in crew in 1957, and operating passenger service all the way through to December 1966, she was sold for scrap in June 1967. She was then rescued in 1980 and destined for the NYMR. Known as the BR Standard Class 9F, she is one of the most powerful steam locomotives ever built for British Railways, reaching speeds of up to 90 miles an hour on long distance services. But do remember to build in some time to visit the sheds and really visit the village to immerse yourself in this 60s transport nostalgia. Unfortunately, this is something I failed to do. You can even visit the local shop, the Gromont Cooperative. But let's get up close and all steamy and really feel that 60s era experience. And here's our coach for today, the Joss de Crow, or is that Joss de Crow? I I'm not sure. You do have lots of choice of carriage. The one I will return to, definitely to try, is Garnet. They do get booked up though, especially the single aisle seats. Here's what we chose to eat today. You select at the time of booking and you can't make any changes on the train. Put the table set and we're ready to go. As we depart on time, we begin the ride to Pickering. The line from Pickering to Whitby runs for 24 miles, but for purely logistical reasons, the Pullman only operates from here and not Whitby.
First course for Mrs Moments in the Sky was salmon, and I had the pâté. Both were an excellent starter. Meandering through the North York Moors with the steam over you, it's difficult not to melt into this whole 60s atmosphere. I am loving it. The Joster Crow is very well appointed. In original condition, and just like when the carriage was built, there is no air conditioning. In fact, it's just luxury as it was. And a visit to the bathroom is just as reminiscent of that golden era of travel. And don't pull that alarm cord, there's a stiff penalty for doing so. So rocking to the beat of the rails, main course is served. I chose the beef, but before we go any further, there's just time to tell you about my awesome Patreon supporters. It's people like Steve, Joshua, Kieran, James and Joe who help me bring you new videos as often as possible. Thank you as always to all of my Patreon supporters. Mrs Moments in the Sky had the steak pie and we both enjoyed loads of vegetables with lots of thick gravy. If you and I ever meet, remember I do like thick gravy. One of our stops en route to Pickering is Levisham. With a population of less than 100, it was used as a set for Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. It all happens in this area. On the outskirts of Pickering, this is the hub of the North Yorkshire Moors Railway operations. Head offices here, along with all sorts of maintenance sheds and a wide fleet of rolling stock. Some still in use, some not. Some of the houses and hotels you see here would have been used by railway workers in the past. So here we are in Pickering, stopping for about 30 minutes. The bridge is a great vantage point, but let's also check out the station. I wasn't around in the 60s, but I'm liking what I see so far. I imagine this posh train bringing first class passengers back on a winter's evening from London, when such a trip would have been a big deal. And of course, big news in Pickering, a man got married. Yep, it's all happening in swinging 60s Pickering. With enthusiasts galore and who can blame them, if I wasn't a train fan before, I soon am becoming one. This is a great place to really embrace the golden era of travel.
and some more gratuitous shots before we get back on board for our next course. Soon enough, it's time to get back on board, and I take my seat once more. Well, I'm getting hungry again. I'm nowhere near the train enthusiast, or anywhere near as knowledgeable that many of you will be. But by now, I'm even turning into an enthusiast myself. I'm nothing if not nostalgic, and as someone who doesn't like change, this is a real snapshot of yesteryear Britain. It's a two and a half hour trip down memory lane. It's best to experience the Pullman with a partner, friend or family. But if you're a single traveller, you're also in luck. The Pullman does get booked up quickly, especially by couples who want the one by one seats. But quite often you'll see odd unsold seats. So you never know, you might meet a new friend. So it's now time for dessert. We both had the cheese board and as with the other courses, it was excellent. And wherever they can, they source food locally from the North Yorkshire area. Being someone who was born and grew up in North Yorkshire, I might just be biased, but for any transport enthusiast, this is one of the finest experiences you can ever have. A final course of chocolates and coffee meet with my approval as we arrive in Gothland. And if Gothland sounds familiar, that's because it was fictional Aidensfield in ITV's hit show Heartbeat, which ran between 1992 and 2010, where the North York Moors Railway would often feature bandits from the south who travelled to Aidensfield to rob the local banks. If you don't fancy the Moorlander, you can just show up and buy a train ride, or for that special occasion, a ride in the diesel cab, or even stay in several NYMR accommodations. The total price for today's Pullman was £95 each, which I was happy to pay. 
this is how society once was, which just goes to prove that modern life is rubbish. I'm now going to buy a time machine, so maybe I'll see you in the 60s. Bye for now.